It Regency. Man, I'm telling you, this room is, you know, this is a little, just a shitter spot. What's going on, you guys? You are now watching Polo D, and the D is for dollars. This your boy. We are on the YouTube channel Life with Polo. We're about to go to the Meekum Auto Show. It is everything. 2023 Auto Show. They got everything out here. Everything nice. So let's check out the hotel room, and then we're going to jump into the footage. So we made it. We made it. We made it. I have yeah, one, yeah, yeah, I do yeah, have yeah, one yeah, request. Yeah. So, if you see anything um, that makes you smile, laugh, or just down. go, oh man, I like that. Morning. Like, see share, on. comment, see and subscribe, man. Enjoy the show. I took my time getting this footage for you guys, for everybody that is planning on watching, and for everybody that accidentally clicked and stayed. There's some footage coming that is amazing two parts. I also have an Instagram life with underscore polo that I'm about to put a lot of the footage on. Oh. And Bumblebee. <laughs> oh, it is. Yeah. 2011 Camaro SS. This is a special one right here. 2017 Camaro 50th anniversary with the carbon fiber hood scoop ground effects kit It's the Jeep. Man, it's the L edition also. This is super dope. No cap. A 
adjustments right there. Cup holders in the back. Super easy to get out. This doesn't go up, I don't think. But a lady just got in and out of here super easy. 21s on it. From the factory. Factory paint is crazy. Nice little storage in the back. That thing bad right there. That's nice. Supercharged Hemi, man. Straight from the mother. What's that? The green belt. Yes, sir. With the. Y'all see that eye? That's red. Alcatara on the steering wheel. That's different. And on the seats. This top package right here. This top nuts right here. Alcatara in that thing, man. Hella wrong. King Daytona. What are you talking about, man? the United States, our teacher took us to college for creative studies and saw the students designing cars, you know that this is the only one thing I want to do. Each vehicle is a sculptural form, fierce, slick, heroic, approachable. At the end of the day, it still has to function. This is when we start innovating. The purpose of the Ram Revolution concept is to reimagine the future of paper trucks. More space, more storage in the third row. Technologies that would change the vehicle, robotics, machine learning, augmented reality, hard. electrification is changing the way we live. We wanted Ooh. to create a better tool, a beautiful truck, without Ooh. forgetting who we are. What? That's nasty. That's nasty. Okay. Nice. Look at that day. Oh my goodness. I was always curious how something Oh my good. Look at all that. What? All that space. They eliminated a lot to keep it light. That still looks amazing. That's amazing. Wow. 
That's crazy. Nice little space. Got rid of the little part where the hump is. So now you can't see that at all. Because they added the storage right there for that. Boom. Coming like 20s. Plain, plain. Big screen. That's nice. Come on, 22s. Correction. Eco Diesel 1500. That's nice. Got the Turbo Diesel Cummins. A lot of space. Kids love it. Adults love it. Same storage in the back. Does not have the split gate like the other one. Mustang. I'm not hating on the Mustang. That's not bad. 41. 21 miles per gallon on the Ranger. Clean, spacious, nice little comfortable ripples for your back.
nice and clean, simple, comfortable, spacious. Little Ranger. I ain't gonna lie y'all that's nice no cap so you really need unless you towing if you towing unless you towing a trailer that's the only reason why you need anything bigger than that some of the exterior design details. First and foremost, we have a unique front fascia, front grills for the 2.3 EcoBoost versus the GT. The GT is the halo of the brand and it gets a larger upper grille and it gets a unique hood vent. And this differentiation will really help broaden the Mustang appeal. Sweet, right? Now we have to get into the interior because it is going to blow your mind. It's completely different from any other Mustang, and it feels driver-centric with an incredible cockpit inspired by the jet fighter. And this electric jerk brake is awesome. Now you can take advantage of all that rear wheel drive power. The team took advantage of every single pixel and even used 3D gaming technology to design a smart, super driver-friendly digital experience. Now, speaking of the team, let's go ahead and meet another one. Please welcome Carrie Kennerly, our senior color and materials designer. Something that was very important to us and I think that was very successful is the introduction of new laser grains on the inside and the outside of the vehicle. Something else that I'm proud about is the introduction of seatbelt accents. It really doesn't seem like much, but having an asymmetric design on a seatbelt really is an added touch and a little bit of detail that I think the customer is looking for. Well, the details are everything, and it's another way to honor the Mustang legacy by adding the unexpected. Next up, welcome design manager Craig Sandvig to talk shop with us about the jaw-dropping tech that all new Mustang has to offer. I'm excited to show the overall user experience to the customer. We've improved the overall look and feel, modernized it, and actually utilize the latest technology in Unreal Engine development. We've also taken some customer research and experiences and improved the, the selectable drive mode. By taking advantage of the cluster display, we're able to create some micro environments to help reinforce the selection that the customers made. We've also updated the visuals of Come the sink floor to better align between the cluster and the center stack, again, creating that one seamless experience. Amazing stuff. Next up, welcome our final guest, Mustang Vehicle Engineering Manager. Over the performance for second generation Mustang, our key element was to ensure that we deliver the fun to drive aspect of the DNA and also the breadth of performance. What really means fun to drive for us? That ensured that we deliver the acceleration, the responsiveness, and of course, the exhilarating sound of the Mustang. I can already hear the rumble of that engine. Nice. Well, there you have it. Directly from the mines behind the sheet metal, the longest running muscle car nameplate in North America burst out of the stable with new style and improved performance. But we're not just done here. Now let's take a look at the heart of the Mustang legacy and how it dominates on the track.
of its first year, Mustang has been born to race. And from the street to the track, the seventh generation continues that legacy. From Le Mans ready to street legal, the lineup sets a new benchmark for racing performance that can only be Mustang. Oh wait, there's one. Expression of you, whether it's on the road or off, Ford accessories. Get All right, so this is the Ranger Lariat. It's an upgrade from the Ranger I showed you guys right before I showed you the new electric Mustang. Around the same price as the other one, but just more luxury. Leather on the inside. About the same amount of space, but more luxury. Awesome. Big boy Ranger. This is the King Ranch. King Ranch. Okay, that's a nice little truck, though, at least. space oh yeah i see that is that the double sunroof oh my god yeah 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 what's the space oh my god that thing is crazy up there right the guy Just hit the button and go right back up. Now that is a benefit right there. That's not bad. That's 78,000 and you can pull whatever you need to pull with this right here. Nice little bed space. You got the humps out there. Give you that extra space. A little ladder. I like that. Space, space. That's the okay, nice seats.
electric. I think this is the electric F-150. space Super huge. That's a big deal. Okay. Yeah. Big deal. You just pop it up. Buttons. This is the 250. Two fifty got the rack on the back. The step assist, coated. I like that. This is the second one with the coated. I'm sure, those are just options. Toyota. Nice, comfortable, comfortable. Double roof. Excuse me, I'm gonna have to sneeze. Bless me. Nice little screen. Seats. Super big armrest. Super nice. Be nice to have space like that. Like Seat down, you got all the the world. Like the camp on occasion, so just to be able to throw all your camping gear in. This is the coil. I want this. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, it is. One, two, three. That's green. It's real. Nice, nice, nice. Seats. Extras. Super big screen. That screen is ridiculous. Got enough space. A lot of space. But tell me the difference between this between mine and for me it's good, you know what I mean? So which one would you prefer? Your 2010 or this one? Bro, I ain't got no payments. Ah. <laughs> good point. Jump in, Zoe. Good point. Jump in. I ain't got no payments, bro. This is a hundred thousand dollar truck, yeah. man. Yeah, it is. You know, I bought mine for uh, when it came out brand new. I think it was like 30, 35. Yeah. You know what I mean? And this is a hundred. And years you got go more by. room with the 2010. And, and you know what I mean? I only got 145,000 miles, man. 5.7 oh, yeah. so liter. Good. 5 this is a V6 liter. twin turbo. 
How long is that gonna go? Wow. I wanna wait till they burn out. Yeah, you're right. And the suspension is different. The suspension on these, it's a, I think it's a, what is it? Land Cruiser. Okay. Land Cruiser. Mine is the first ones that came out, straight truck style. Okay. You know? Uh, I'm yet to drive one. I gotta drive one to see what's up first, man. You know okay. Mean? Yep, yep. Space in that boy. Enough space for you? Yeah. How tall are you? I like six foot. Six foot. You think you need a bigger truck or a smaller truck? Uh, or this size truck will work rather? I don't know. I, honestly, this would be good because it'll be good for easier to park. Yep. Yes. Yep. 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 I agree. I agree. I know it'll last too. It's Toyota. It's gonna last. Fast Pro Race Car Toyota Racing Series. Gang with the drop top. Damn, it's busy in there. She gets busy. It's 
standard Mustang back. I mean, they added this little crease in there. in the wagon here. Motherfucker, come on, foes, don't it? Nice little space in the back. Okay, this is the seat. Oh, this seat come up too then. Oh, that's dope. Alpine for the factory speakers. Come on now. Alpine for the factory speakers. That's a big deal. This mug sound good. TVs in the back. Nice back there. Lights right there, lights up under there. Strange double roof. Space, I love the stitching. I love the stitching. Now that's different. That's different. I like this one. This one is hard. See the lights. Grand Wagoneer, baby. Blood is stitching. Hello, room. Pretty deep in there. Oh, God. That's it. Cup holder joint with the cover. There go your knobs for the shifter right there. Push button, obviously. This one fucking hit. Just about anywhere. Wow. Twin turbo with it. Okay. In here. So this is just the Wagoneer right here. Oh, sorry about that. Jeep life. Nice. Two speakers right there. Those are six by nine. Interior. Them seats is dope. speaker right there. Oh, no. This thing, when he starts it up with a Rubicon 2.0.
come off. Yeah. Oh, okay. Click lever. Yeah. That's dope.